Hello my dear friends, welcome back to Infigyan. In today's video, we are going to get one very very interesting and challenging question from algebra. Here we have to factorize hexig expression. So let's get started by writing expression equal to e first. Now we are going to use rational root theorem. So I need to know the eligible factors of constant 21. I can write plus minus 1 plus minus 3, plus minus 7, and plus minus 21. Now all the coefficients of hexic expression 1, 2, 3, 24, 23, 22, 21 with plus sign. So we have to only check or verify negative x values. I will put x equal to minus 1 to our expression e. And we will get minus 1 power 6 is plus 1, minus 2, plus 3, minus 24, plus 23, minus 22, plus 21. So 21 plus 1 is 22. Here we have minus 22. 23 plus 3 is 26. Minus 2 minus 24 is minus 26. So it is satisfying we will say x plus 1 is one factor of e. x plus 1 is a factor of expression e. Now we have to verify second negative value of x minus 3. Minus 3 power 6, it is 729. 2 times minus 3 power 5 will write minus 486. 3 times minus 3 raised to the power 4 will write 243. It is 3 power 5. 24 times minus 3 cube we are going to write minus 648. Then we will write 207. Then we have to write minus 66. Then we will write plus 21. If I will add all the positive numbers, I am going to get 1200. All the negative numbers, we are going to write minus 1, 2, double, 0. So again, this is satisfying our equation. We will write x plus 3 is another factor of expression E. Factor of expression e. Now we will multiply both. We will write here x plus 1 times x plus 3 will be equal to x square 3x plus 1x 4x plus 3. Now we have degree 2 polynomial or expression. Here we have degree 6 expression. Now we can divide our expression e with degree 2 expression x square plus 4x plus 3. So that we are going to get degree 4 expression or polynomial which will come out after long division method. We can get x power 4 minus 2x cube plus 8x square minus 2x plus 7. So we can write our factorization so far will be equal to, we will write x square plus 4x plus 3 times x power 4 minus 2x cube plus 8x square minus 2x plus 7 or we can write x square plus 4x plus 3. This will be equal to x plus 1 times x plus 3 and then we have quartic expression x power 4 minus 2x cube plus 8x square minus 2x plus 7. 
Now our target is to factorize this. Let me write here x power 4 minus 2x cube plus 8x square minus 2x plus 7. We will write this quartic expression equal to product of two quadratics. I can write here x square plus ax plus 1 times x square plus bx plus 7. This is one way of writing or we can write x square plus ax minus 1 times x square plus bx minus 7. Minus 1 times minus 7 is plus 7. And plus 1 times plus 7 is also plus 7. So we are going to consider our first case. So let me write here equal to x square plus ax plus 1 times x square plus bx plus 7. Now we are going to multiply both the brackets and then we have to compare coefficients from both the sides. Left hand side. Now we have to multiply our RHS. I will write here x power 4 x square times bx. We will write here bx cube plus 7x square. Now we have to multiply ax. So ax times x square. We will write ax cube. ax times bx. abx square. ax times 7. We will be writing 7ax. Now we have to multiply by 1. We will be writing x square plus bx plus 7. Now we will add. So we will be writing x power 4 plus a plus b times x cube plus ab plus 8 times x square plus 7a plus b times x plus 7. Let me write our equation or factorization here. Here it is. Now we are going to compare coefficients. So I will equate minus 2 with a plus 2, 8 with ab plus 8, minus 2 with 7a plus b. So let me write three equations. a plus b equal to minus 2, coefficient of x cube. Now we will write ab plus 8 equal to 8. Comparing coefficient of x square. Now we will write third equation 7a plus b equal to negative 2. Comparing coefficient of x from both the sides. So we have three equations. Now from second equation. I will subtract 8 from both the sides and we will get ab equal to 0. Now we can apply product 0 rule. So we can write either a equal to 0 or b equal to 0. If I will plug in b equal to 0 to both the equation here and here, it is not going to satisfy. If I will write here b equal to 0. So our first equation would be a plus b equal to minus 2. a equal to minus 2. And our third equation if I will write 7a plus b equal to minus 2 by putting b0, we will get 7a equal to minus 2. So a will be equal to minus 2 over 7. Here we are getting minus 2, minus 2 over 7. So it is not going to accepted value. So we are going to accept a equal to 0. Let's check. I will plug in a equal to 0 in first and third equation. So I will write a plus b equal to minus 2. 
एंड सेवन ए प्लस बी इक्वल टू माइनस टू लेट्स प्लग इन ए इक्वल टू जीरो सो फ्रॉम फर्स्ट इक्वेशन वी आर गोइंग टू गेट बी इक्वल टू माइनस टू एंड फ्रॉम सेकेंड इक्वेशन सेवन ए प्लस बी इक्वल टू माइनस टू विल गेट बी इक्वल टू माइनस टू विच इज ट्रू सो वी कैन से हेयर ए इज इक्वल टू जीरो एंड बी इक्वल टू माइनस टू so we can write factorization of quartic expression x power 4 minus 2x cube plus 8x square minus 2x plus 7 this will be equal to x square plus ax plus 1 times x square plus bx plus 7 Let's plug in a zero b minus two. We will get x square plus one times x square minus two x plus seven. Our factorization is done. Let me write here expression e will be equal to x plus one times x plus 3 times x square plus 1 times x square minus 2x plus 7 i hope friends you will like this video thank you so very much for watching do not forget to like share and subscribe bye bye till next video good luck take care bye bye